Hey everyone, Rito from B2. Today, we're going to be talking about the Do-It-All AR-15. Now, many of you are going to say, you know, guns are tools, tools have certain purposes. You should build the gun around the purpose you're going to be shooting. Now, I agree with you. However, I believe that if you set the gun up in the right way, maybe give yourself some options, you have the ability to have a gun that can do a lot of different jobs very well. Now, you're probably noticing that I've been holding both an aim point and a scope while I'm talking about this gun. This gun right here has quick detach mounts on the scope that allow me to quickly take it off and put on my aim point. What's great about both the Aimpoint Pro and the mount that I have for my scope here is that they both return to zero when you mount them to the same section. For the Aimpoint Pro, it comes with it. You can get these optics for about 430 bucks. Sometimes get them on sale for a little bit less. You basically just tighten it down with this knurled knob, click it twice, that way you know it's torqued down to spec. And as long as you put it back on the same rail section, you're gonna be hitting that zero. Here is the Leupold VX6 1 to 6 HD. Now this scope at one power is a great option for any close range shooting that you wanna do. And if you crank it all the way up to six power, you can then reach out and touch something a little bit further. At six power, I can't imagine that you're shooting anything with an AR-15 that you can't hit with a six power scope. The reason I went with the Leupold over some of the other options was mainly just the warranty, the features that this offered. I wanted a clean reticle. The reticle on this is just a simple duplex. So with this optic setup, I can go from having my Aimpoint Pro on it like this to having my Leupold 1 to 6 on it like this. Now, you got to get a good mount. The mount is what makes this system a workable system. It's what makes me able to just take it off and know that I've got my zero when I put it back on. The mount on this scope here is an American Defense Quick Detach Mount. It uses two levers that aren't going to come free on their own. It requires you to actively press the unlock knob and then twist it. All in all, I think this setup here gives me a great system. If for some reason both my optics go down, I can then just flip up my Magpul MBUS Pro sights. These are metal folding sights that sit out of the way when you don't need them, but pop up easily when you do want them. So now that we've talked about how to aim the gun and your different sighting solutions that you can use with this gun, I'm gonna talk about some of the other smaller features that I think are crucial on a modern AR-15. I've got a Geisley SSA Enhanced Trigger. This is a three and a half pound trigger pull, dual stage, so you have a little bit of take up, and then you pull that last stage and it breaks. You can shoot it fast up close, but if I wanna make a shot out further, I simply just, it's like nothing. I put an ambidextrous safety on this gun. Now I'm a right hand shooter, but if I just shoot as a lefty, you know, I can use it on both sides. One thing that I like to add onto every gun is the Magpul bad lever. It allows me to lock the bolt open without taking the gun off my shoulder, and then close it without having to press it with my support hand. So when I'm empty, I can see that I'm empty, drop my mag, insert a new magazine, and then simply press down here to drop the bolt. I know that BCM makes a good gun. The reason I went with them for the upper wasn't so much that it's the best value or the most accurate. I went with BCM because I know that every time I pull the trigger, it's gonna go bang. I know that this gun was assembled properly by trained uh, professionals, and I know that it's not gonna fall apart on me. They're using high quality components, assembled by people that know what they're doing. So really, I felt that I couldn't go wrong. The barrel is 16 inches. Now many people are gonna say, why didn't you go with an 18 inch? Well, since this is gonna be a defensive gun and maybe a competition gun or some sort of general purpose gun, I felt 16 was a little bit more appropriate. You don't get a whole lot of more velocity with the 18 and I felt that the 16 was perfectly adequate for anything that I wanted to do. The BCM KMR comes in multiple, uh, multiple lengths. This one is 15 inches, but you can also get them for the carbine or mid-length or even a 13 inch, um, depending on what you wanted to do. I wanted it as long as possible, so with my long arms, I could still reach out all the way as far as I wanted to and have room to mount my light up front. My muzzle device on this gun is just a standard three-port brake. There's all kinds of brakes out there. They're gonna range anywhere from 90 to 150 bucks for a good one. So I'm gonna just wrap it up real quick, talk about a couple of things that we mentioned. In summary, what I think truly makes this gun 
a multi-purpose AR is my ability to swap between optics. If I had to choose between one of these though, I would probably go with the one to six power scope. The aim point is great for close quarters, um, but at, after about 200 yards or so, you don't really get as much benefit as I think the loophole offers. But all in all, if you've got a variable power scope, like a one to four or one to six, and an aim point pro, both in quick detach mounts, I think that it will allow you to do basically anything with this gun. For defensive use at home, I keep my aim point on it. When I go out to the range or if I'm gonna go do competition shooting where I need to reach out further and hit close, I go with my Leupold VX6 because at one power, I can make those close shots, but at six power, I can really be precise at longer distances. Being able to swap off your optics is huge. Having the right little accessories makes the gun definitely more suitable for certain purposes. If I'm shooting three gun or something like that, I'm gonna take this light off. Doesn't really do me any good in a competition that's broad daylight, but for defensive use, I want that light. I think that the multi-purpose AR is definitely doable. If you have any questions as far as how to set up your gun, feel free to let me know. Give us a call, we're open seven days a week, located right here in beautiful Sonoma County. Hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching.